Act in every one of the scenes. Turn your Bible to the book of St. Matthew, the 26th chapter. I'm sure everyone is familiar with this. this. is a redundant gospel. Amen. We never get through uh, preaching this gospel. Over and over and over again. Amen. 26th chapter. I'm going to have you to read a little bit. And I want you to pay attention to what you're going to read. I know you read it before, uh, but I want you to read again. Amen. I want you to start reading 26th chapter, 17th through 35th verse. You may read.
grace that have rested on my mind. Uh, the 29th verse. But I say unto you, I would not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. I'm going to read it again. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. That means while here, he's not going to sit down with him anymore in this world right. Right. until something else happens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want you to serve you. It's not over. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 It's not over. Uh, notice Jesus, uh, uh, he was uh, taking the, giving the Lord's Supper, in which is called a Passover. This is, uh, he creating a new Passover. Come on, y'all help me now. Uh, this, this is a new Passover. Uh, but they, uh, the Jews and everyone else were there at Jerusalem uh, because of the old Passover. Amen. Something that happened back yonder. Amen. That, that, they, that they remembered what happened back yonder. And uh, how they got where they are at this particular time. Amen. They couldn't get there unless something had happened back yonder. Amen. Amen. That was a Passover. Amen. When Israel was in captivity back in Egypt land, and they had been there for over 400 years, and they had cried unto the Lord until the Lord heard that cry, and God decided to do something about it. He's still the same God today. And, and, and not only did he decide, but he did something about it. Uh, he had told, gave Moses an order to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. You know the story. Moses, on many occasions, he became hard-hearted and didn't want to let him go. But God said, I'm going to give him one more thing, and he's going to let you go there. Uh, I, I want you to kill a lamb and put the blood on the doorpost. And I'm going to send a deaf angel through the land of Egypt. Amen. And he's going to pass over. Yeah. That's why the Passover come at. Amen. Amen. He's going to pass over Egypt. And, and, but when he see the blood on the doorpost, he's going to pass over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if he don't see no blood, yeah, yeah. amen, he's going to enter into that home and slay the firstborn of every child of, in the land of Egypt. Yeah. And that was the first Passover. Amen. Yeah, yeah. amen. To, to liberate Israel out of the land of Egypt. But now we have another Passover where we've been enslaved yeah. by sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A amen. We need to be liberated. Yeah. Yeah. A amen. A a amen. 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 Yeah. So it takes, we have to have a new Passover. Yeah. A amen. A a amen. Yeah, you, yeah, you with me, brother. Yeah. A a amen. And then Jesus, 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 Jesus told his father, uh, I'll go down and I'll be the new Passover lamb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use my blood for the new Passover. Yeah, yeah. And he had to go, I'm going to try to cut it short, he had to go through something yeah. in order to be the new Passover. Yeah. At this particular time that we are studying here, uh, the, the, the Jesus was getting ready to go uh, to Calvary. Yeah, 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 yeah. A amen, amen. In order to establish the new Passover. And that's why we have this table here. Yeah. Uh, do, this, do this and remember me. Is that what it say, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do this and remember me. Is that what it say? Amen. A amen. Uh, remember me. Uh, that's what it say. Remember, that's that table say. Remember, remember me for what? There's a reason why that table is there. There's a reason why it say remember me. Yes. Do this in remembrance of me. Yes. Let me don't forget. Don't forget. The new Passover. At this particular time, when Jesus instituted the, uh, the, 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 the second Passover, the new Passover, amen, and with his disciples, amen, there were Jews all over Jerusalem at that time. And they, they, had, uh, they had come to Jerusalem from all over land and country 
uh, amen, to commemorate, to remember what God had done for them uh, uh, years ago. Amen. You ought not forget what God has done for you. If God has brought you through something, you, you ought not forget it. And God, God, God told you to don't, don't forget what I've done for you. Don't forget where I brought you from. Many of us, we had, when we get in trouble, we cry to the Lord if you help me. If you bring me out of this situation, Lord, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And soon as God brings us out, we forget about we, the promise we made. We ask God for a blessing, and when God gives us that blessing, we forget about it. Amen. So, but, but thank God for Israel. Thank God for Israel. Thank God for Israel. After God had brought them out of uh, Egypt and, and, and know what, and then God gave them back to the promised land. And in this incident we, that we read tonight, that today, uh, that's, the new, that's the promised land. They were, they were now in the promised land, uh, remembering what God had done way back here. Yeah. Amen. They had to pass over every year. Every year they had a Passover. Yeah. And Jesus, before he went to the cross, he honored the Passover of the Jews.